guys, Tom Shaw here, and today I'll show you a way to get paid a thousand dollars plus an hour investing in tax and certificate. I know it might sound unreasonable, and it, it looks like it doesn't make any sense, okay? But give me five minutes or six minutes to explain the whole process, and you'll see that the more you'll dive into this information, the more it will make sense, and the more you'll start to see, huh, why isn't anybody talking about this method or making money? There's a few books that do, but I think that a lot of people don't wanna talk about it because it's very easy money, okay? So what is a tax land certificate? Well. Most city, it's going to be different in all cities, but most cities, what happened is that after three years of a person not paying taxes, the city would take that house and put it into an auction. So first of all, how you buy that is through an auction. And what do you need? You need cash. When you buy these properties, you're gonna have to pay them cash or through a check. So you need cash, or a check. You can't get there with a few thousand dollars or saying I'm gonna get the money later on. No, you're not going to get the deal if you don't have cash on hand if you do buy a property. Okay, so that's the first thing. You're gonna to have to have hard cash and a check. The second thing is you need to study this market. You need to understand and you need to physically see these properties before buying something. Where is it going to be demonstrated? It's going to be in your local city tax, uh, your local newsletters and everything. You'll be seeing these properties that are for sale and you need to physically see these properties because you don't know what you're buying. Just because it looks good on paper and you get there and the roof is falling apart, well that property is going to need a lot of money before you can before you could buy or uh, uh, I'll put it back on the market. So let's look at, usually you pay about one third of the price. If it's worth 120K, you'll be for, paying 40K. If it's worth 300K, you'll be paying 100K. So you need $40,000 at a minimum to buy these properties. And these people are not paying so you need to have that money and you need to study the market before putting in offers because you're gonna get these properties. If you're overbidding everybody, you're gonna get these properties. And this is how I did it. I did it four times. I bought these properties and it's not a lot of work. It takes maybe 10 hours to make 10, 10K of profits. So let's look at this. There's three ways you can make money with these deals. The first one, and it depends, and every city is different, but here, how it works and what I've, what I've studied is that it's basically the same everywhere, but it changes a little bit. And what, another thing that's really hard about this is that there's not a lot of people who are qualified uh, notaries or lawyers know about this information. It's very hard to get the information and I'm only giving you guys the basics because I'm not gonna give everything. This is where the easy money is made and if I were to give all the details on how to make this even more simple, I would have to charge a minimum of $500 a course because I don't wanna have too much competition but just the simple fact that I'm giving you guys this information is already putting you on the right track. So there's three ways you can make the money. They don't pay you back after one year. Well, essentially, you tripled your money. That's the best situation. The best situation is that they don't pay and you don't get that money back and you get the house after one year because they have one year to buy the property. In some places, like two years, in some, some places, you get a constant return. But here, you could you could own the property and triple your money. So you can make 120 k but this is about 10 hours of work. So imagine the serious money, I mean 80 k of profits. And if you don't sell that property, you don't have to pay capital gains. So 80 k in 10 hours, is a lot of money. The second way you can make money with these houses is that you can rent them. As soon as you become the owner on paper through your local tax city, you can rent it out. You can rent it out at the market. If it's a thousand dollars a month, you can rent it out to the person that lives there. He owns that house and he's paying you a thousand dollars a month to 
stay there and not be kicked out because you're legally allowed to kick out the person if he's not paying or he's not being compliant. Now the third way to make money essentially is a 10% every six months. So what's going to happen is that if you buy it in June, you'll make a 10% and then in January, you'll make another 10%. So you bought this property, you just made four, on, on, on the last case, you just made, let's say they buy it back in se seven months. So you got 7K and then you have another 8K. So you've just made $15,000 in less than 10 hours. So this is serious money, okay? T making about $1,500 an hour, okay, it might seem impossible, but you have to be open-minded. Most of the people who can see wealth or can uh, uh, seize opportunities, they all have the same mindset. They're open-minded and they try to see, okay, is this really true? Is he telling the truth? Because a lot of people, I'm not making no money by telling you guys this information. So if I have no interest in the information that I'm giving you guys, there's a lot of chances that this information is true. I wouldn't be sharing this and trying to make myself look good or whatever because I just want to share this knowledge. But remember, how all of this happens, you're going to have to study the market and you're going to have to find how it works in your local area and all the information because there's a lot of loopholes that you could use in this deal because there's a lot, okay, just have a fit in what I'm saying. There's a lot of ways you can make this because when you're contacting the person that owns that property, it's not going to be fun, okay? It's not going to be, uh, uh, the person's not going to be laughing and telling you good news. Ah, I'm happy that you're calling. No, he's going to be screaming. He's going to be telling you a whole bunch of information. He's going to call you uh, names which are going to be hurtful. And if you're not prepared for those kinds of calls, it could be very hard. But there's ways that you could go around the owner and make it a beautiful transaction, okay? So I just want to look to make sure I'm not missing any information that I wanted to share with you guys. So you can make three times the profit, you can triple your money, you can have a rent for a year, you can make 20% a minimum or maybe a 10% if the person buys it very quickly because you can do it that the person in one month the transaction is done and you make a 10% in one month. If you do that in one month, 10% is almost a hundred and twenty percent annualized return so that is an incredible return all right so anyways if people if i see there's a demand and people want to talk to me directly uh, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation i'd have to see what i could do but it's i would be charging at least five hundred dollars for half an hour but with that half an hour you would be able to complete this deal in a way that you would make money that would be very encouraging okay so if you like this kind of information you want to know more about this uh, leave comments and I'll be seeing you on the next video remember to subscribe uh, it's basically the same information sometimes I talk about politics sometimes I talk about uh, real estate investing because my background is that I'm a real estate investor. I own 19 doors in real estate. I did four of these deals. I made more than $40,000 in tax and uh, certificate investing. I've also invested in stocks, bonds, mutual funds. I've invested in hard uh, money loans where I've helped uh, businesses structure their, their businesses and make it more profitable. I've even helped some companies go from 1 million to almost 3 million in two years. So that's basically my background. And I started out in, in life as being a military member. I, I was saving my money and I was being careful. And then I bought my house, I was renting it out. And then I bought my first fourplex in 2011. So I've been investing for about 12 years now. And I'm just telling you that information so that you guys have a better understanding of where I come from. And I also try to understand where 
our politics are going because if you can structure your business in a proper way, you're able to make a bigger spread on the loans that you take and the leverage that you take to make more money. So that's it for today. All right. Thank you. Have a nice one.